Raphael Brandao, my man. How you doing, brother? <laughs> I'm fine, James. I'm fine. First, you? let me say thank you for, I know you, uh, what you said, six weeks six out? Six weeks. Thank you for taking the time and, 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 you know, driving all the way here from Las Vegas because I know how far it is. I mean, it's not too far, but it's still four hours. Yeah, bro, I, I have to say thank you, you know, because it's a pleasure to me to be here. And If I would have known that you speak English, I would have had I, you on last year. Yeah, I, <laughs> well, I still learn English, you know, yeah. but now I can talk, yeah, I but can do I, interviews. Yeah, I wasn't no. sure. I mean, I don't know why. I think there's not a lot of Brazilians that I know that speak good enough English yeah. to communicate, Yeah, you know? I have a lot of friends in Brazil, but I have to speak with them speak English, with yeah. the translator, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. And that's why I, I had no idea. I always thought for whatever reason, because I never see, I never hear you speak. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I, even on Instagram, I never see you speak. So I, when uh, Alina contacted me, she said, we want to bring Rafael in. I said, yeah, does he speak English? Check, make sure he speaks English. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like two years ago, I did he speak English, but I saw that. I need to speak English to yeah. come here, you know, to people know about Raphael, not just Raphael athletes, you know, right. but about Raphael husband, about Raphael son, you know. Right, right. It's so, good. It's good to for your personality yeah, to come out when you, know, you talk and do videos and stuff. And like yeah, three years ago when I come to train with Flex Lewis in 2019, uh, I come and they say for Flex, Flex, I don't speak English, so and he said to me, hey. We don't need to speak to train. Yeah. So come here. You're gonna learn English. You're gonna have good workouts. You know. Yeah. So when I come there to Florida, uh, I start you know English class every single day. Mm -hmm. So then I, you know. You know the best way to learn a language mm. is to watch the movies. Yeah, bro. I watch every single video, like from you, from Jay. You know, yeah. also, old videos. Yeah, our regular to movies learn. also movies. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, especially when, you know, now Netflix, you can have the, I think, Portuguese subtitle, subtitle yeah. and then watch it in English. Yeah, first I start, you know, watching uh, movies like English movies with Portuguese subtitles and then I change for English subtitles. Okay, so, right. Yeah, that's a good way to, to learn. Where where in, uh, in, in in Brazil, where are you from? What, what city? I'm from, my original city is Garça, it's like, Small I've city. Never even heard of it. No, no. It's it's like small, small city, uh, and then I go. I, I went to São Paulo when I was twenty two years old. I got married with Carrie. Yeah, we got the wife. Here. Yeah, my beautiful. Auntie. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And when I moved. So you got married at twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah. So you didn't waste no time. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> said, no because <laughs> you know how bodybuilder life is, right. and. When I was 20 years old, I know, I knew that I want to be Mr. Olympia one day. Right. So I have to have people around me that trust me so and believe myself. Mm -hmm. And when I met Karen, we, you know, was was different. Right. So yeah. I know. I felt feel. yeah. I felt like this is the woman that mm -hmm. I want to you know with me, and she's. Uh, professional athlete too. Yeah. So, do you wellness? Yes. I thought so. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, it's she, oh, it, listen. She was the first wellness to turn pro. The two thousand wellness to turn pro. So she was the first wellness pro. Yeah, to turn overall pro. or just yeah. in Brazil. No, she turned pro in Mr. Olympia Colombia in two thousand twenty. Oh, okay. You okay, know, okay. you know, before two thousand twenty, uh, wellness category was just amateur and then they have opportunity to turn pro right and she got to the this championship and was the first round to turn awesome. pro congratulations yeah. yeah now we need to see you on the olympia stage right yeah next to this him. year that's the plan <laughs> that's the deal you so, know? so growing up in in, in uh, sao paulo or whatever the other city was i can't remember Geisa. 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 <laughs> when when you know how long did how long how long did you stay there and and when did you start bodybuilding so you left Gaisa to, to Sao Paulo as a teenager or? Yeah, I lived in Gaisa until 17 years old. Okay. And then I moved to Marilha, it's near Gaisa. And I, I lived there until 22 years old. And then I moved to Sao Paulo. Oh, okay. And I started bodybuilding when I was 20 years old. So How old are you now? 28. So you're still a baby? Yeah, a little. 
I, I'm getting old. years old. I'm getting old. <laughs> you say you're getting old? Yeah. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you how it feels like when you get old. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. You got, about, you, got, you got about 20 years left before you feel old. Trust yeah. me. That's awesome. So you're already where you're at right now at 28 years old. 28 years old. That's crazy. Yeah. So when did you realize that bodybuilding is what you want to do? When I met bodybuilding the first time, you know, I have a big friend in Brazil. I think you know Felipe Franco. Of course. You know. So I started watching his videos when I was living in Marília. And first time, I want to be a men's physique guy. Oh, really? Yeah. And then when I got my first coach, and when he saw my legs, he said to me, hey, no you have to put these legs on, <laughs> you know, to yeah. game. And then I started bodybuilding. Oh. And when I started bodybuilding, I was like, I was watching Flex Lewis. I was watching Phil Heath because this was 2014. Mm -hmm. So Flex Lewis and Phil yeah. Heath was, you know. So that's when you started around yeah. this area. And then... I was looking at these guys and I want to be like these guys, you know. Uh -huh. I want to be Mr. Olympia one day. So since, I, you know, when I started my first prep, I had in my mind, I'll be Mr. Olympia one day yeah. in open category. Yeah. So... What, I, mean, you, you, I mean, you obviously have the, you have the physique. Your strong point, and from the very beginning, it was crystal clear that your symmetry is what stands yes. out. You know? And I, I like the fact that you take your time with putting on the weight. Yeah. You know, I don't see any drastic size. Nope. Slowly, you know, everything stays in shape. Your waist stays tight. I really like that. And I, I'm glad you're doing this because I was, you know, a victim of doing the wrong thing, thinking you have to chase the biggest guys. Yes. You know? So that's, that's, that's my plan, you know, Dennis. That's, I like to see bodies like, you know, symmetry. And I have no rush. You know, I have no rush to mm. be, you know, Mr. Olympia one day. And I know if I do, like, if I, if I want to grow too fast, I will lose what I have the best. Yeah. That's my symmetry. The trademark symmetry, yes. So I have no rush. So I, I, I can put in like three pounds a year, four pounds a year. And I know when I step on stage, like 265 or 270, I'll be like... Yeah. What is your weight now? I'll be hard to beat. My weight now is 266. 266. Yeah, I'm six, six weeks, weeks out. out. So So what I do think, you think stage weight? 245, 250? Yeah, I think 250, like 53, 54. Yeah. I stepped on stage last time, 250. So So when you do the, and when you do the Arnold in, in, in Brazil, yeah. you know you got to win the show. Bro, that's... I mean, you're in your hometown. Can you imagine? Yeah. It'd be, it'd be crazy if it happened, you know, because I competed there in 2019, 2019, and pff, I never saw yeah. something like that, you know? It's, it's also str it's funny that, you know, you, you, you have been there since 2014, 2015, and it seems like you competed in so many shows already. Yeah. How many pro shows do you have? I have, let's see, eight, eight pro shows. Eight pro shows. Yeah, eight. Yeah, because it, it felt like everywhere, everywhere I look, uh, Rafael is yeah, on stage. Yeah, I have eight You know, it's maybe especially last year the uh, when you did the European shows where you qualified for the Olympia this yeah, year. Yeah, this year. So it what was, what, what was the pro. reason? What, which one was it? Romania Pro. The Romanian Pro, right. What's the reason behind you saying, I want to do the Arnold in Brazil, even though I'm already qualified for the Olympia this year? Oh, I'm sorry, can you... Why, why, why did you decide to do the Arnold in Brazil, even though you already qualified for the Olympia? Because, you know, it's my country, it's my people, yeah. you know, my sponsor, my family. I want to compete there. It's... it's, it's, it's a crazy energy to me, yeah. you know. I, I, I totally understand it. I'm only asking the question because you know a lot of guys say, "Ah, it's so hard to peak." Yeah, times. yeah. And but I guess know, you have no problem peaking. No, no problem yeah. because when I get this energy from these people, I I know it make me better to Olympia. Mm. You know, it make me fresh. <laughs> right. So I want to compete there because they support me a lot. You know, my yeah. sponsor, my. My fans, my with, family. Uh, what's darkness? Yeah, darkness. Darkness is my sponsor. Oh, that's the name of the yeah, company. That's, yeah, Integral Magica is, is the. Oh, okay. Because yes. I was about to say, because I remember darkness from. Yeah, and darkness is like a line. Okay, Integral it's like a, a signature yeah. line. Okay. Yeah. 
So, yeah, I want to be there and feel this, en this energy, you know. I want you to have a, like, a, um, Arnold Classic Brazil title, too. Yeah. You know? oh, yeah. It's my country. It's my is, is Arnold going to be there? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. You want yeah, to In 2019, Arnold was there, and after, you know, after the show, he come to me and, saw to, and said to me, I never saw a crew like that before. Mm. It was crazy. People was crazy there. Let me ask no. you this. Why did you decide not to do the Arnold in Columbus? You were on the list. Mm -hmm. Everybody had you already, you know, hyped you up, you know, for, you know, in the top three, top four. W what was the reason for you pulling out saying, I'm not doing this show, I'm going to do Brazil? Yeah, because I want to do like one show before the Olympia. And I want to go to Arnold, Columbus, when I feel I can win. You know, oh, so you didn't? You, you thought you, you know, I'm not ready yet. For I'm the, not ready to. You so know. So why, why, why would you sign up for it? I don't know. Then, no, you know, like just I feel it. You uh -huh. know, just I feel it. I felt it, and I say to Chris, Chris, what do you think about you know do Arnold Brazil and then Olympia and then in 2023 we come back to Arnold Columbus and you know yeah. have a chance to win the show. Yeah. And he said to me, yeah, you're right, let's go, let's mm. do this. You have more time to, you know, to do a prep. Because I competed last time in Romania, it was September, Karen? September. So it's like, I cannot make some improvement to Arnold Brazil, mm. you know, just to Arnold Columbus. People always ask how I got here. I was willing to work just a little harder than everyone else. Every damn day if i can have hundreds of hours back you know i'm gonna grab them spending hours prepping chicken rice and vegetables f that i rely on perfect nutrition i rely on trifecta just you know conditional and i know i need more mass you know i know yeah. open categories about mass you know but I want to be like mess with class. Right. So, you know, this take more time to, to build a, mm. a, body, a shape like this. So I decided to pull out of Arnold Columbus and do Arnold Brazil, you know, because I had more time to do my prep. And after Brazil, I start off season mm. and then start prep to Olympia. So do you, do you have a place in Las Vegas too? No yet. When I come here, so where do you stay when you get here? When you come here, I I rent a Airbnb. Oh okay. Yeah, it's easy. You yeah. Know, but so how long? Planes, how long were you in the states now? I came here. I got here like five weeks ago, and I have more five weeks, like ten weeks. So you so you come here to train? Yeah, I come okay. here to train to flex. Oh okay okay. So yeah. and when are you going back to Brazil? In five weeks. In five weeks? Yeah. Oh, so one week before the... One Army. week before the... Army oh, okay. So, yeah. so the Brazilian fans are not kind of, you know, they don't want to see you over there, to train over there and prepare for the show? No. You know, I come here and I, I do a lot of videos yeah. and they can they can watch it. It's, it's different, mm. you know. So they, they understand? Yeah, they understand. Yeah. They know it's better for me. Yeah. You know? I mean, when I think back at Columbus a couple of weeks ago, I thought I was in Brazil. It was yeah, unbelievable. Because, the yeah. crowd was, yeah. I thought there was more Brazilians than anything yeah, else. Yeah, Brazil is growing. You it's know. unbelievable. Yeah. What's happening? How come all of a sudden Brazil is booming when it comes to bodybuilding? And, and the support yeah. for the athletes, I don't care what category. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah, Why? Why do you think that is all of a sudden? Well, I think because, you know, uh, more athletes today are doing like uh, YouTube stuff, you know, and more athletes sharing. Uh, our life, you know, bodybuilder mm. life. How how bodybuilder life is. People how know how body bodybuilder life is. You know, they they like it, mm -hmm. so they support the athletes. And our brands in Brazil is putting money on a lot of athletes. You know, you are making good it's athletes. It's a Brazil. lot of talent. Yeah, a lot of talent. No, I saw that years and years ago, but it wasn't as popular as it is today, because there was maybe because there was. Not too many Brazilians yeah. that were on top. And, you know, have another point too. Uh, you know, in 2017, IFBB and the NPC split, right? Mm -hmm. And then 2018, 
Tamer and Tarek bring the muscle contest to Brazil and the NPC. Mm -hmm. And then they give a chance for more athletes to turn pro in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Before 2008, 2018, was impossible to... It was only the turn. Arnold. Yeah. It's, no. Ne, there was the no. Arnold Brazil. Yeah, just Arnold Brazil, like yeah. pro show, but you can't... You could turn it pro. Yeah, in yeah, Arnold yeah, Brazil. The Arnold, yeah. Yeah, so to turn pro, you have to do like uh, South America Championship, uh -huh. World Wide Championship, and then after 2018, they they bring a chance for people in Brazil turning pro in Brazil, mm. you know? So I think, I this make more athletes, this make more, you know, uh -huh. people come and say, well, I can, you know, uh, turn pro in Brazil, it's... Yeah. But they had the Arnold Amateur in Brazil. Yeah, years. but... Because I remember my, my, the first Arnold Amateur in Brazil, I worked with uh, uh, Julio Balestrin, yeah. who won was my the first overall. Coach. Who won the overall. And the next year, my athlete from Colombia, Ho uh, Big Jose, Jose Luis yeah, 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 I know. Rodriguez I won know. the... And, then, and it was the same year I worked with Jolan. And Jolan win his class, Jose win his class, and then in the overall they had to fight for the title. That was that was unbelievable. Yeah, I mean it's 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 growing to the point where you can't even say anything negative about any <laughs> Brazilian guy. Yeah. Or you will get destroyed online. Yes, bro. It, That's yeah. you know, I, I like that because you know, because at the end of the day, you know, it shows how 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 strong the support can yes. be, you know, and, yeah. and and I know it's not like you you're not trying to start arguments, but what does it feel like when somebody says anything negative about you and these guys from Brazil just coming and check him right away? You know they got your back. Yeah, you know it's it's unbelievable. Then yeah. this is why I want to compete there. Yeah, you know because <laughs> they support me a lot. Yeah, so I have to give back to the people, you know. Yeah. So they they are unbelievable. I can't man. wait to go back. I haven't been to Brazil in so long, man. I can't wait to go back. Yeah, let's go to Ireland, Brazil. Bro. I I really yeah, want to go. Six maybe, weeks, six weeks. Maybe these guys from Growth Supplements that want to bring me over, maybe they can arrange it for the Arnold because that will be perfect week. What what weekend is it? Uh, last week of April. April. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would be available too. That would be perfect because yeah. I don't go to Germany until May 11th. That would be awesome. So you know, you're gonna. It, where is it? Is it Sao Paulo? Sao Paulo. Okay. Hey, awesome. You're going to see a crazy crowd there. Yeah. Yeah. You're oh, I, see I, crazy, always yeah. Love, I always love Brazil. Yeah, bro. I'm looking in the camera saying that. I always <laughs> love Brazil. So, so let's talk about your prep, you know. So you train with Flex Lewis, you know, who's obviously a big motivation as a seven-time 212 Mr. Olympia. Yes. And he's obviously also he's going to be a, a contender. He's going to go yeah. against you. So what, what is it like training with someone who, you know, at the back of your mind, you want to beat him, and he knows he wants to beat you. How is it when you guys train, and who pushes who the most? It's, it's good, you know, because I want to... Everything is competition, yeah. you know? When you train, when, when you do... Everything is competition. So it's, it's good because, like, when Flex do 10 reps, I go and do 12 reps. Mm -hmm. And Flex come back and do 15 reps. And I do, I do, I don't know, 20 reps. Yeah. <laughs> and then flex 25 reps. Yeah. And I do 30 reps, you know? So we keep pushing each other. And this is perfect, you know? Who's and stronger? I don't know. Maybe. Well, don't be give, give, give me an I don't know. You, yeah. know. you train with him every day. Who's stronger? Okay. So maybe some, some different body yeah, parts. Yeah, some parts, you know, some body parts flex is strong. Like legs, I'm some exercise, I'm strong. Mm. Um, what do you do for your legs? Because your legs is crazy. I like to squat. I you like squat, to, so yeah, you do I like all to, to uh, leg press. Um, how many how many times a week you train legs? One time a week. Just once. Just once. That's enough. Yeah. Huh? Now now it's enough. Yeah. But I always tell back people in the day, too. It was it? like two three days a week. Like so before crazy. to build the foundation, yeah. you had yeah, to do yeah. more. I was crazy. Yeah. Too. So were you always? Did you always saw right away that legs is the body part where you yeah. have no problems with? Yeah. From the get go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in my first, my first year, yeah, my first year in, in, when I, you know, start competition, I have to stop train legs because my my legs was too big and my upper body was, <laughs> you mm. know, small. So I stopped train legs. And I was doing just stairs. Oh really? Every single day, like one hour. And you know to make it balance, right? You know? And yeah. 
So you, for me, I mean, you, you're pretty perfectly balanced right now. So this is, I mean, I think, you know, even because you think you need to get a little bit bigger. You don't need to, I don't think, how tall are you? 5'11". Uh, 5'11". Yeah, I mean, if you, I think five, five, it's ten, hard to say five, because ten. the condition, because you bring, you, you bring that razor sharp condition, you know, you slice, you got deep separations, deep separation. you know, you create much more of an illusion. Yeah. What so, a beauty is yeah, so I don't think you need to be 275. You can, you know, it, it's not going to hurt you, but I think you can go far without being 275. You can be 260 and just be super peeled. Yeah. And, you know, it just takes that one show where the judges finally say, okay, now you arrive. Yes. You know, because you've been doing these shows in Europe and stuff, but you need to get in one show, and that's why your Arnold Brazil is a good show for you, because this is where you can say, okay, judges... Now accept me as one of the guys that's just always going to be there in the next yeah. ten years, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. and I'm really looking forward to seeing you yeah, with your brain. You know, I had I had to to build this, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I still 28, and you know the maturity, mature muscular maturity mm -hmm. is going now. Right. So I think when I, you know, was 30 years old, I'll be like yeah. two seven, two <laughs> sixty, two six. 28. I don't know. Let's see. Let's work. You know. <laughs> Have no rush. You make 30 go. years sound like it's old. Yeah, you're still young. <laughs> you, you, ever, you ever had any injuries? No. Nothing. Nothing. No injuries, no Thanks aches, God. no pains. Thanks God. That's, oh, you yeah. know what? That's a you good... You know, I have some pains, but... Yeah. Normal. But no, no, no in, but nothing. That's nothing. a good sign. That means yeah. you train right, the right yeah, way. Yeah, not to do surgery or something like that. Yeah. Thanks God. So when you look at the athletes today... Let's talk about the the Arnold and Columbus. You know, you saw you obviously follow yeah, yeah, the yeah. show. What did you see, and and where do you think you fit in at this point? <sighs> Let's say you you would have been at your best, you would have walked on that stage in Columbus. Where would you think? Where would where, where, where would you see yourself placing? I can see myself like in top three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you said that because yeah. I think so too. I can see. You know, yeah. if I go, you know, my best with like. Five pounds more, or uh, I can be because it's it's nice and it's good to be humble, you know. But one day you're gonna have to step out of your shell yeah. and have to say, "Listen, uh, we, you know, this is competition, and I'm here to win. I'm not here to say, okay, I, I can't beat this guy. I can't beat this guy because I always felt like if I if I tell myself that I can't beat this person, why am I training? Yeah, you know what I mean. If yeah, you wanna, if you want to win the Mr. Olympia, you you. You mean it's good to have respect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of but course. you also want to be a competitor, you know. I want to be the the, the, yeah. the best in the world, you know, one day. So I want you to look this guy and say, okay, I will be this guy one day. Yeah, I, I can be this guy today, you right, know. Right, right. So, and I, I, my plan is, I will be, I will build a shape that when I like two sixty, two six five, parody. I know I can step on stage in my mind that it'll be like it'd be hard to be this mm, guy. Yeah. You know? well, if you if you would have to choose one body part that is not as good as all the other body parts, what do you think is your weakest body part? I think back. Your back? Yeah. So what do you do I for think back? My back shots, you know, I I come improving, you no know, mm -hmm. my back shots, but I see my body like in the front and side is very good, you know, and back I need to, you know, need a little more thickness. Yeah. But this is when the years come in. Yeah. You know? You know. So I think Flex has got a good back. Yes. You know, he's got a great back double bicep. So you did he is he helping you out with yeah. exercises yeah, for yeah, back? Yeah, yeah. Well when I, when I come to train flex, my back was like yeah, terrible. A little bit flat. Still. Yeah. And then six months after I had a yeah. big improvement. And now, you know, I'm still working. I still learning to, you know, it's hard to, to train back. It's not easy like yeah. legs or chest. I know, and back and you legs know. are still hardest yeah. parts. Yeah, if it's you do hard. it, if you do it right. Yes, <laughs> for do right is is very hard. You know, mm. so you you come learning to you know contract more, stretch more. You know, you got to get that mind muscle yeah. connection. So, so in, you, in the beginning, you probably didn't have it, and no. then you realized, oh, now this is how I feel it. Yeah, because you want to get a pump, just like you get a pump in your arms. My arms, yes, yeah, that's true. So, you know, flex helped me a lot, and yeah. after I start training with flex, I have more connection with my back, and I have more strength. You know, mm. 
So yeah. So what, what did you what did you think when he left Florida? Because that's closer to to Brazil than 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 Las Vegas. Yeah, it's close, but I love Vegas. Yeah. You know, the first place that I when I come the first time to US was Vegas in 2016. I come to watch the Mr. Olympia. So oh, okay. I love Vegas. And then when he said to me, "Hey, I moved to Vegas. You guys want to come to say, let's go, let's yeah. tomorrow, yeah. you know, because we love it." Do you, do you ever train anywhere else in Vegas or just just the Dragon's Lair? Just Dragon's Lair. Yeah, you just never right. checked out the Powerhouse. No, not yet, no. not yet. I want to be there too. Yeah, yeah, because I, yeah, I, I, I heard they have good stuff there too. Yeah, I know too. Yeah, but we, you know. I'm training with Flex every single day, so you know. So you guys are solid time. training partners. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just you two, or is there anybody else in the involved? We have now Dom Dominique Cardon. Oh, really? Yeah. He's training there too. Yeah, he's training too, and he's. Is he is he coming back? Yeah, he's coming back. Okay, coming okay. Back. Yeah, and you know everything is going. Yeah. Very good, training with three people, and you know go fast, and. So what do you do when you don't train in Vegas? Where do you go? Take your wife out to eat. Now, you know, on prep, you know, tired as yeah. fucking. So <laughs> <laughs> when I don't train, I like to stay home, yeah. you know, eating. But sometimes you go to the mall, you go to the uh, some some place to, to eat some Yeah, beef, you never you know. go out? No strip clubs, none of that? No, no <laughs> strip clubs. <laughs> See, when, I go to, when I go to Vegas, I go to the strip club. <laughs> no, no, I never went to strip club there. <laughs> So yeah. tell, tell, talk to me about the, your prep now, the next six, five to six weeks before the honor. What's the game plan now? From now until the show, what, what else do you have to do? Well, you know, I work with Chris. and Chris, Chris Acido. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Chris know how my body works. And I always, I say to Chris, hey, Chris, I want to be shredded. You know, this is what I like in mm -hmm. bodybuilding, you know, because when you see like what, like an uh, athlete, Extremely shared, you know this guy did the work, mm -hmm. you know. So now it's time to, you know, hard diet. Yeah. <laughs> so so do do you suffer a lot, or you, is it easy for you to get in shape? No, it's it's not it's not. Because when hard. I look at you, yeah, it's hard to to get big. You yeah. know, off season for me is so condition is easier. Hard. Condition is yeah, because it looks like you look like that. When yeah. I see your pictures and I see what you look like. It seems to me like, yeah, he, he's got it easy to get. Yeah, I have to eat, you know, uh, a lot of food, you know. So you're not a big eater. No, oh. no, I, I have to eat, you know. I know, but you, you don't you don't feel like eating a lot of food. You're not because I always tell people if you want to be a bodybuilder, you got to be able to eat. Yeah, and some people they just have problems. No, I like eating. I like to eat. Yeah, I like. So yeah. no, it's how many meals do you get in a day? Seven meals. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, okay. And in, on prep every single week, I have to do like. Make some some hamburgers, you know, because my weight goes down. Yeah, yeah when I start fast. when I start do cardio, you know, and start training like with flex, like high volume is, you know, my weight. Yeah, how down. much cardio you do now? Uh, thirty fifty minutes. Fifty minutes. Thirty minutes in fasted cardio and twenty minutes. Oh, after. so you do two sessions? Yeah. Oh, that's but not, that's not much. No, but so. sometimes go high like. An does, hour. Does Chris still give you muffins and stuff? Does he still do that? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> He's, I don't I like know where it. this come from, you know, but a lot of people and everybody that, that I work with, they all come to me. It's like, hey, do you give muffins? Yeah. I was like, why the fuck you guys ask me for muffins? It's Chris Acido. If you want muffins, go with Chris. <laughs> yeah, first time when Chris said to me, hey, eat a muffin. I said, what? <laughs> Muffin, <laughs> yeah. you know, I was in the last, uh, the last week before the New York Pro. I, I think like three days before New York Pro. He had I was, you know, hard diet, and he come to me, hey, eat a muffin before I work out. I say, what? So it's always before the workout. Yeah. So what? Okay, I eat this shit. Maybe Bro, because I had I had the crazy pumps in my life. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm. I, I was yeah, just about crazy. to say. He knows that it's not gonna hurt you. Yeah. And then you train, and then he knows it helps you because it gives you that. Yeah. And then you know it. it, it, it you know it it, it. it works with yeah. you know your mind. mind. It's just yeah, a little bit of sugar can can. Yeah. Hurt. You know. You yeah. Imagine you like twelve weeks dieting, and 
your coach come to you and say, hey, eat this, mm. you know, muffin. You're going to what? Yeah. Bro, think it's, he, it's, he it's you? unbelievable. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Is he just testing me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. Do you, do you know, do you know who's, who's in the show in Brazil? Is there any names? Mm, no yet. I don't know. So nobody, we don't know. Just, we, we, don't we know. just know you. No, I know the guys from Brazil. You no, know. there's some more guys from yeah, Brazil. Yeah, more guys from Brazil, but I don't know if it's someone come. I know, you know. Amir. There's another athlete who works with Chris. He's doing it. He's doing. Yeah. Amir. Amir from Germany, the young guy, 22, oh, 22 yeah, I know, years I know, old. I know. This. Yeah. This guy has. Yeah, yeah. A beautiful crazy, shape too. crazy potential. Yes. Yeah. yeah crazy, because he gets super peeled also. Yeah. You know? That's what I like it. And he's super me. young. Super 22. young too, 22 years old. So. Yeah. yeah, he's doing a show. I know that, but I don't know anybody else. You don't know? No. Hopefully, tell me, hopefully. Tell me, tell me, tell me Dennis. I, I have don't no. Know too. No. Did, did we talk to anybody who's doing the Arnold in Brazil? No. no. Yeah, I don't know. I would, I would be surprised because I just heard today that um, Justin Rodriguez is doing the Indie Pro. Indie Pro is. And the New York Pro, and week. that's the first week in May. Yeah, a week after. So this is last week in April. He would yeah. be. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he says, Maybe. "Okay, I'm doing yeah. the Arnold in Brazil too." Mm -hmm. And guys like um, who else? You know, maybe uh, who else was in the Arnold that could possibly? Well, all of them. I mean, Kuklo, Kuklo, and uh, oh, now Cedric is probably not competing. But that's probably going. Uh, hopefully, there's yeah, going to be Cedric a few more. was supposed to compete there, but I don't know if he. Yeah, he I, I, I doubt it. I doubt it. Yeah. So this, yeah. Can you? I, but I'm just, I'm just looking far ahead right now. So you still say if you win the Arnold in Brazil, convincingly with, you know, at, at, with, with the best Rafael out there, that's going to put you in a very good spot for the Olympia, you know. Because yeah. I think you fare well with these guys. Even you know guys like Nick Walker, you know Hunter Labrada. Hunter, yeah. Those are those are all you know. You guys are all around almost the same age, so you guys are the new generation, anyways. You yeah. know. Now it's just a matter of who's beating who, yeah. <laughs> you know, to put himself in, in, ahead of everybody. You yeah, know, that's the time, you know. So, what I do you think about Nick Walker coming? He came out of nowhere, and uh, it's crazy, yeah. you know, because I saw, I started following him like three years ago, and he was totally different guy, yeah. you know, and he grew up like crazy, you know, put a lot of mass, good conditioner, you know, he is a monster. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think so too because, I mean, he, he, when he turned pro, I mean, people was knocking him for, for the stomach and, and you know, and then all of a sudden he turned that around. And I watched I watch his training too. He trains hard. You diet down, train hard, and supplement smart for months. When the time comes to step on stage, don't leave your tan to chance. Go with the pros. Pro Tan, number one worldwide since 1987 and the official sponsor of the Olympia for the last 15 years. Don't step on stage without it. Pro Tan. Yeah, and, and, and I don't even think this is just for the camera because mm -hmm. you know how some people, when they had their cameras on, that's when yeah, they yeah. train. And when the camera's not in, they did jerk yeah, everything. But I believe that this is how he trains, you know, because yeah, you really can see. Because you can see the yeah. muscle. You, you know, can see you can it see. on the body. Yeah, on the body. Yeah. So, What about yeah. William? About? What William Bonac. You see, he came, you know, a lot of people he wrote came, him off. Yeah. They said crazy, he's done. Right? He's old. He comes back at the, he at the Arnold. He comes back and was surprised, you know, yeah. because he came with crazy conditioner, big legs, and yeah. Yeah. Did you have him winning or you had yeah. uh, Brandon winning? I, like... Pretty cool, you know. Yeah. Who who did you who did you have in first? At the end. I like Brandon, you know. Shape. Yeah, I like the shape, mm -hmm. you know, the size. And I think, you know, if he come with more conditioning his hamstrings and glutes, you'd be yeah. different guy. But yeah, William and Brandon is pretty cool. It was really close. It was yeah. really close. I mean, I will be honest, I had I had William beating him. Yeah, at the really Arnold's, mean. because Bra I don't think Brandon was at his best. He was good. He was Brandon good, is always good because yeah, he yeah, has yeah. the shape. He can be off and he still looks good yeah. because of the shape. But I just, maybe it's just because William Condition. was so much better than his last showing. Yes. 
Yeah. You know, it, it seems like true. Brandon wasn't as good as he was at the Olympia, but William was much better than he was at the yeah. Olympia. Maybe that's why, you know, we, we thought that, you know, maybe he should have won. But then again, Brandon's shape is, is unmatched. Um, yeah, I know. Unmatched I, at I, this point. I like to. I like yeah. both of those guys, you know. Uh, William bring, you know, good... Uh, Good condition, you know? yeah. it's crazy. So you can see there's this is a little yeah. bit older muscle too. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I like this too. Yeah. So go, going into the Olympia this year, you know, is this your first Olympia? Yeah, my first Olympia. How, what, what is that night like? Knowing this, like now you're getting ready for another show, but you know, at the back of your head, you know, you're going to the Olympia in 2022. Yeah, in Vegas. In Vegas. So you can in train Vegas. there. You can just you can just like, drive to the venue. Yeah, it's a little like home. So what does it feel like? I feel great, you know, I feel confidence to the show. I know uh, we have more nine months to work. And what, is, what does Flex tell you when he, when he motivates you? What does he tell you? He tells you you can, you can win, you can... What is he telling you? How does he motivate you? He motivates me like... Is he not saying, listen, you, you, you can win, but you're not going to beat me? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, Flex is a different guy, yeah. you know. He likes, he, when he started training, he, he told me, hey, I want you to do, we was training, I, Flex, and John in, back in Florida. Mm -hmm. and the, John De La Rosa. John De La Rosa, mm -hmm. yes. And he told me, hey, you're going to do like back in the day, guys, you know, when guys went to the gold, uh, Gold's Gym in Venice and train together and compete mm -hmm. together. Back in old yeah, school. Yeah, you yeah. know, have good... Have fun training, have fun on stage. So that's, you know, that's pretty good because you have a guy like seven times Mr. Olympia tell you every day, like, you can win, you can be the best, you can, you know. So he never told you that you won't beat me? You can, no. be, you can be second? <laughs> this is what I would say. I said, you know, the best you can do is second because you're not going to beat me. Yeah, if he, he said to me, say, okay. Let's work more. Yeah. How is he yeah. looking right now for, for him to make an open he looks good. debut? He looks is he, good. Is he, yeah, he looks good. Yeah. No more injuries. He's injury pain no, free. He's good. You know, I know Flex when, since he, when he first came to the US as a little, like, little yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now he doesn't even fucking reply to my text message. <laughs> Flex, Mr. Hey, Flex. Flex, Lewis, you better fucking text me back when I text you. <laughs> you know? So I know he's busy though. But, anyways. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I remember, in, you know, and he was always. He was kind of like you now, yeah. you know, he li listened, you know, he was very respectful and he's still respectful today, yeah, yeah, yeah. but, uh, you know, and, and, and then see somebody like him to have the career, uh, the success that he had, you know, it's just, you know, it's just, it's just great to see. I yeah, like to see know, that. I want everybody to fucking win. Yeah. He deserved this, mm. you know, because he put a lot of work in everything he do, mm. you know, he put, you know, her, uh, his hurt. You know, and I saw in the gym. You know, have you been at Dragon's Lair? No, no, I've never been there. I will. I will go when I get to it. Yeah, it's unbelievable yeah. place. You know, I hope it, you better not charge me when I get there either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Flex and the Ali they put work together, yeah. and they Flex. You know, every single day I learn something from Flex. Mm. You know about bodybuilding, about life, about business, about so I have like uh, much love for Flex because mm. he he's like my brother now. Mm -hmm. You know, I come from train with him, and then we get more friendly, and now he take care with me, and that's. You know, I just want to say thank you for Flex yeah, because yeah. he gave to me the best opportunity of my life. Yeah. You know, you know I was I was living in Brazil like I was 25 years old, and can you imagine like when you when you first start bodybuilding? When I don't know how many years ago, who 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 was <laughs> long who, long long time ago? Who was your you know idol? My I, my, I, I looked up to I kind of I have to say Kevin LeBron. And uh, Lee Haney. So can you imagine? Kev I can. Yeah, can, can you? Kevin Levron texts you, hey, come to train you to me. Mm -hmm. So I can that's, imagine. that's what I can happened imagine. To me, I'll tell you, know? you a story. I'll tell you a story. Let me, Kevin, Kevin, I'm going to tell you a story. I, 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 I didn't meet Kevin in real life until I competed against him at the Arnold back in 2000. 
That was the first time I get to meet Kevin. Not meet him, but you know, see you know, him backstage. Mm -hmm. You know? And I remember this was my first Arnold. Flex Wheeler won. Those are all the guys that I looked up to from the magazines. I lived in Thailand. So there was no bodybuilders in Thailand, you know? Every, the biggest guy was the size of this. <laughs> <laughs> so I only know these guys from the magazine, right? So I go to the Arnold and then Flex Wheeler, Chris Comier got second, Kevin LeBron got third, and I got fourth. <laughs> My first Arnold. Now, the first time I see these guys on stage, then on stage. So, you know, that was when I first saw him. But then I remember where he was doing a photo shoot in the, at the Coliseum gym in California back then, Milo Sanchez's gym, where Chris Lund for Flex Magazine shot all the, 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 the did all the photo shoots. And then I remember then Kevin was there and I, I stayed across the street in, in the residence in when, you know, and then and I start, start talking to him and he told me, so yeah, man. And he gave me this tip. He said, I said, you know, because I wonder how he's always in such good shape mm -hmm. on the tour. Back then after the Arnold, and after the Olympia, they did a European tour. There was like four, five, six, sometimes up to eight shows within two weeks. You go from one country to the next. Oh my gosh. And he wins every show, always in great condition. So I kind of asked him. So he gave me this tip. I never forget this tip. He said, when you fly somewhere, you know, stay elevated. Don't sit down too much. Sit down when the flag plane take off and when they land, but when they're in the air, try to move around. Huh. I said, because only when you sit around, you start holding water. Yeah, but yeah, when yeah. you stay elevated, you keep walking. Yeah. So I remember he told me this, and this was like two days before I flew to England for the British Grand Prix. I walked from <laughs> Los Angeles all the way to London. <laughs> I was on the plane. Cardio. I swear, I was walking on the plane. Everybody that tried to sleep, I'd go to the, tape, to the chair and I'd fuck with him. I said, get your hands up. You know? uh. And I literally was almost at my best after I got off the plane. Really? You know, so yeah, staying elevated and be stay yeah. hydrated. I tried it's very this. important. I tried this when I come back to Brazil now. And then of course <laughs> I had another and then that was the tip that I got from Kevin. And then one time me and Kevin we went out together in Las Vegas. Oh my yeah. gosh. That's when I first some, this Talk, is like this situation you know, like yeah. when you get your eye like, I can't believe I'm in the strip club with, with Kevin Levron. You know, we had a yeah. good time. We yeah, had a good time. Good. So, yeah, that's what happened with me, you know. Flex yeah. texted me, hey, come to train to me. I said, what? Flex mm. texted me? Okay, I'll go. <laughs> so, two weeks after, two weeks later, I was there, and he, he asked me, hey, how long will you be here? I say, hey, bro, I moved to here. Yeah, as long you know? as you yeah. So, did you I have a place in, in Florida before? Yeah, I had a place oh, there so for you're one year. Oh, okay. You know? And I said to him, hey, I, I move here. Yeah. You know, let's train. And we So the sponsors, they, they, they support you in this? Yeah. That's good, though. Yeah, Flex support me in everything. No, I mean the spon your sponsors. My sponsor? Yeah, they yeah, yeah. They support that support 100%. Bro, my sponsor is unbelievable. Yeah. They, they, you know, they help me with everything. Everything. They believe me. They help me. They, you know. Yeah. I come here. I say to, to, to Dax, hey. I need to go to Vegas, I need to stay there for do my prep, you know, it'll be better for me, blah, blah, blah. And say, well, let's go. Go That's there. what you got to yeah. do. That's what you got to do. Yeah. You know? That's awesome. That's, That's awesome. This, you, see, you don't I'm see so that glad. a lot anymore. Yeah. There's I'm a lot so of sponsors. To, to, to have these sponsors. Yeah. You know? There's a lot of sponsors that, you know, that they don't do what a sponsor should do. Yeah. You know, I mean, then again, there's not a lot of, there's some athletes, they don't really follow their rules either. You know, but at the end of the day, you know, and especially in Brazil, with a supplement sponsor like Instagram Medica or yeah. what's another big uh, Black Skull, and, and the bigger companies. You know, but the athletes have to do his part too. You yeah, know? yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you, you know. got to do, you know, if you're not good for the sponsor, yeah, you know. the sponsor can't be good for you. Yeah, the sponsor is not like yeah. parent. So how long you, know? you how long you with those guys? Uh, four years. Four years four already. Years. Oh, yeah. okay. So you guys yeah. are solid. almost almost five years now. Yeah, you guys are solid. Yeah, it's solid, and I'll be with the like long time. Yeah, yeah. That's good, man. That's good. That's good yeah. to hear. I'm glad, man. I'm I'm really happy for you. You know, I'm Thank I'm you. looking forward Thank to you. it. I'm gonna follow your progress now, and I'll follow your Thank way you. to the Brazil, and hopefully, hopefully, I can make it. I'll find a way. Hopefully, I can get these guys to bring Let's you over go. around that time. Yeah. I can bring you too. I, let's go. <laughs> I really want to go. Yeah, let's go. I haven't been to Brazil in 10 years. 
Ten last, years. Last time I think was with me. No, I was with, last time in Brazil with Rami in 2014. Yeah, eight years ago. Eight Is it eight years? Ago. Yeah. 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 It's hey, been a long time. If you want to be there, let me know. I want to be we there. We can do. Want, want to be, be there? there? Yeah, I want to be there. To, Maybe we to, can do. To, to Ireland, Brazil. To Ireland, Brazil now in six weeks. Yes. Want to be there? Yes, I want to be okay, in Brazil. I'll get you there. Maybe we can let's arrange a some, seminar or something. Yeah, let's do some seminar. Like. Yeah, I have, I'm down. I have, place like, I have place there to do this. And listen. Listen, I'm, gonna, totally, I'm totally down for okay, that. Okay? okay, if you guys, you know, I will definitely, I, I would love to go. Okay, I'll okay? talk to my sponsor, bring you there. And then you're maybe, have a, hey, and then maybe watch see. you win. Gonna, if you, yes. And if you win, we'll have a party afterwards. Yeah, after going to the party. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Dennis. I'm so so happy to be here. You know, doing this interview. I know my English is your not English is the best. Your English is perfect. For yeah, me, it's but, perfect. You know, I'm so happy because I know how hard I work to you know learn English, do mm. my prep, and I, I, I when I see where I am today, it's crazy because did I, you think that like five years ago this is where you're gonna be? Yeah, be, look. I started like eight years ago, eight years ago, and I come from nothing, mm. you know. I come from a very humble family, mm. and be here today, you know, talking to you. You know, bro, I watch every single video from you living in <laughs> Thailand, you know. <laughs> I was look, yeah, I was looking yeah. like, a, like <laughs> the shirts like these, like yeah, the big old, guy. Old like, tops. Bro, I was... <laughs> <laughs> so it's unbelievable for me yeah. to be here. So I talk English, you know, and I just, you know, God is, is perfect. God is good. God, God is, is good. good. God is good. I'm glad you're here, man. I'm glad and your English is perfect. And I can't wait Thank to bring you, you back That's after you win the honor. After you win. And you come back to train for the Olympia. We will bring you back here before the Olympia Let's to talk go. to you. Because I'm here. Then, uh, then I'm we'll here always. Fun. Always. Yeah. Always. Unbelievable. Hey, Amen. Thank you. For taking the time, I know we're gonna probably have dinner tonight. So yes, okay. So you're not you're not I, leaving I, today. I don't know about your time today, but I, I will I want, make time. I, I want to train with you if you can. You want? Yeah, I'm. I'm. But I'm an hour away from here. Oh, if, unless you want to. Where are you staying? I'm mm, ten minutes from here, like Hyatt Hotel. Oh, okay. So you say is it Gilbert? Yeah. 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 Maybe. What time you normally train? I can train after here. I but don't no. know. <laughs> hey. See, hey. you're like me when I was your age. Yeah. You know? Anytime. What, two o'clock? No, now, let's no, go. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. You know? What, what are you training today? Arms. Arms. Hey, your arms is just an easy thing for you. Do you want to do legs? <laughs> I'm not training. I'm, really. I'm not even training. I would train with you. I'm not training. I'm yeah, not doing perfect. Anything. I'm not letting you fucking kill me. No. And let me walk around on, that's, on crutches that's tomorrow. That's what I want to know. I want to, to, you know, I saw a video like uh, my friend Eduardo Correa, you training yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. If you, if you listen, train, the, you're training. If you don't mind driving 40 minutes, we can, we, I can meet you in the gym. Perfect. I can meet you in the gym. When I'm done, I'll be done here. I got one more. Um, um, Zoom okay. after this, and I'll be I'll be done around, let's say, three o'clock, four o'clock. If you want to train at that time, we can do that. Okay, that's right. You know, we can do, go to an old school. Yes, old that's what twenty five mach year old machines, and yeah. and just get get that's it done. That's what I want. They would love to see you over there. Nice. I let's let's do this. All right, brother man. Thank Thanks you, man. So I appreciate. Much. it. Thanks so much, Dennis. All right. <laughs>